thought it'd be fun to do some uh, candy reviews. So I got some Bite Times. Bite Times is a vanilla toffee and caramel kind of treat. So let's test it out. See how, oh. And they're like individual. Oh, oh. <laughs> they're like individual little. Oh, oh. Well, that's, well, that's good. Yeah, that's almost like a ice cream Snickers. Very much so. And then this right here is what's called uh, payaya. Payaya. It is uh, like a little baked good. And the filling is, I can't read it. My eyes are so bad. Muscov Muscovando sugar, wheat flour, and water with the sesame seed topping. It comes free when you buy a loaf of bread. Tell it's very bread-like, kind of. Mmm. Like, like kind of flaky bread? Yeah. Mmm, that was good. That, <laughs> that was good. And then I got this. This is a, a take it. It looks like, I'm assuming the version of a Twix. No, a Kit Kat. And this is matcha, Nishio matcha. I'm not sure what Nishio means, but matcha, I'm assuming, is like green tea. Would make sense because this is very green and just exactly in the shape of a Kit Kat. Oh yeah, it's, it's got a matcha flavor to it. I don't much like it, I wouldn't get it, but yeah, it tastes like green tea. Sweet green tea. And then, oh, I, <coughs> so hungry. This is called um, a Cloud Nine. And I believe this one is the classic version, which is caramel, nougat, and peanut. I would assume that this is the Filipino version of a Snicker bar. No. <laughs> It's too chewy for me. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's very chewy. Not for me. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're all sweet. They all taste decent, but I wouldn't, uh, I would not go to the store and get any of them to hit my sweet spot. For me, it's always gonna be Snickers all day long. <laughs> all right. That's my mini little, mini little convenience store review of candy bars. See you guys. Just went for a late night snack run and look what I picked up. I found this place that sells Japanese style snacks. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is, but let me turn the camera around here. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is, but this to me looks like some sort of lime vegetable flavored Lay's potato chips. Then we have these orange flavored croissants, orange flavored western style croissants. Then I also picked up these Lay's and they are cucumber flavored, so we'll give those a shot and see how they taste. Okay, so first we're gonna give these um, lime and some sort of uh, vegetable. I'm not even sure what that is, like a radish? Maybe that's a radish. So lime and radish flavor, lime and radish flavor chip. I taste, it has little specks on it. I don't know if you can see that. Mmm. 
can definitely taste the lime. And, hmm. That's pleasant. Not really picking that up, but purple flakes. And, mm hmm. Not as cr not as crunchy of a potato chip as you would expect back in the states, but delicious. Loved it. Really good. And then the other ones we're gonna do are these uh, cucumber flavored ones. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. That tastes just like cucumber, and it's crispy just like a regular Lay's potato chip. Last but not least, we're gonna try the croissant with the orange flavored western sauce inside of it so it comes in the bag and the bag has individual bags inside of it airy but not exactly like a croissant that i'm used to i mean there's still air in there but there's no like cream filling inside on the package it actually looks like there's supposed to be cream inside of it but there's not Yeah, and when you bite it, it just smashes down. But <clears throat> there is an orange flavor, like a like a hint of orange to it. Not much, it's just like barely there, very light. Tastes like a croissant with a little hint of orange flavor to it. Yeah, it's good, it's good. I like that um, the junk food over here is not like overpowering. It, like, so the sweets aren't super, super sweet. They're just faintly sweet. And the chips aren't extremely oily. And like, those potato chips that I had, they did not feel like there was a lot of oil and grease on them. So, that's my take. <laughs>